Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll talk about importing scan files from Sure networked hardware devices. In other tutorial videos, we've demoed how to use networked Sure devices to capture live scan data. If I've got a receiver or a spectrum manager connected to wireless Workbench right at the moment, I can basically ask it to capture data for me and send it directly to Workbench. Uh, and you can see the scan unfold in front of you. But it isn't always the case where we can have wireless Workbench and our, our Sure scan capable devices all in the same place at the venue at the same time. Sometimes scanning uh, occurs beforehand, whether the hardware rolls off the truck first and you've got to capture a scan as soon as you can, or uh, in other cases you might use portable devices like a PSM-1000 receiver to capture a scan and that device isn't networked. So in those cases, you've, you can use Sure hardware to capture scans, but the hardware itself is storing the scan data. And one extra step is required to get that scan data into Wireless Workbench for all the benefits uh, that we've discussed in other videos, being able to view the data, coordinate frequencies against it, and so on. So what I want to show you today is how you can use Wireless Workbench to extract that scan data and get it into the frequency coordination view. In the frequency coordination view of Wireless Workbench, this left-hand side here is sort of our scan management dashboard. We've got uh, this window, this recent scans, which allows us to connect to network devices and capture scans. Scan files allows us to import files from our computer. And this last section here, hardware imports, is what we're gonna focus on today. This, uh, when I press this button, this open folder, it shows me a simple dialog, which will give me a dropdown, and that will list every sure device that I'm connected to that has the capability of storing scan data. So at present, the, de the devices that have the capability of storing scan data in Shure's lineup include two. There is the uh, Spectrum Manager, the AXT600, and the PSM1000 receiver. Um, now the PSM1000 receiver is a bit of an interesting case. You can actually take a scan with the portable receiver. You actually have to sync that scan data to the PSM1000 transmitter, and there are some front uh, panel interactions on the P10T you can do to do that. But once you do that, it's actually the transmitter, the networked PSM1000 uh, transmitter that can store that data captured from the receiver. So anyways, when you've got one of those devices, so in that case it would be the Spectrum Manager or the P10T, um, and it has data in it, it'll show up in this drop-down list. And it's literally as simple as selecting import, and Wireless Workbench will reach into that device, extract that scan data, and then drop it into this hardware import section. And there we go. This is a scan that I took on my Spectrum Manager ahead of time. I didn't need Wireless Workbench connected when I captured the scan. And uh, doing so, store that scan file on the device, and now, when I'm later back at Workbench, I can use this workflow we just showed to pull that data out and use it in Workbench. So importing scans from hardware is a great way to, uh, it's a great alternate, uh, alternate avenue to bring scan data into the wireless workbench fold for frequency coordination and spectrum monitoring purposes. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got questions about how to trigger scan data from the hardware or scan capture from the hardware that is or any other elements of this workflow, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.